Good afternoon, Happy Crafters. How are you? I hope you're all well. Thank you for joining me today in my studio. The weather's not the best, so I hope you're all at home cosy with a nice cup of tea, ready to have a little bit of inspiration for half an hour or a little longer, maybe. For those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Tony Derrick and I'm a guest presenter over on Create and Craft and I love anything to do with crafting, as you all know. If you did tune into the shows on Friday, thank you so much for purchasing our lovely products. You won't be disappointed, I'm certain of it. So when you get them home and you've made something lovely or you've tried them, let me know what you think. We do love to hear from you and we do love to see what you make with our fabulous products. Before I go into anything though, and before I get into any demonstrations, here's a little inspiration so I can get sorted and ready to go. Here you go. Welcome back everybody, I hope you enjoyed that. I have to say that has to be one of my favourite videos. There's three fabulous techniques in there that will work across the board throughout the year. So get all your colours out and your um, lovely stamps and just chop them up and mix them up and you've got cards for the year really. So I hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, in today's studio I am going to be doing a Christmas card because it's um, rapidly approaching and if you like me you haven't made any Christmas cards. So we're going to do a quick and simple way of doing a quick um, Christmas card that you could do in a whole host of colours and send out to all your family members. And we're going to do another card also. Before I get into the demonstration though, I wanted to tell you about our fabulous sale that happens tomorrow, which is a fabulous. So if you are a Stamp Club member over on our website, you will know that we do two sales a year and this is specifically for our club members. 
So what that entitles you to is discounts on all of the products throughout the year, but we also do two sales, which entitles you to um, products and discounts of up to maybe 70%. Um, we did one earlier in the year and from that you will know that our customers received some fabulous products at knockout prices. Now when we do our sales, we don't do our sales to get rid of stock. Um, we don't need to do that. If we wanted to do that, um, we could do, but we don't do it. What we do is we put sale items together for you for people that maybe could not afford them last time so if your budget didn't quite stretch or maybe you had your eye on something and then your washer broke or something happened so we do it on all of our new products as well not all of them because some of them we don't have in stock but if we have them in the building I, I will reduce them for you we only have two a year and it's only for our club members so if you are not a club member the club membership is £10 for the year so all you need to do is pop onto our website and become a club member. This gives you a 12 month subscription where you are entitled to all the discounts throughout the year and it also puts you into the two sales of the year. And in tomorrow's sale we have five goodie bags, four of which will have Stamps By Me products, stamps and dies. There are no repeat products in any of those bags. So if you want to buy two, I know for one for you and one for a friend maybe for Christmas, I know that you're not going to get two of the same product. Um, and the last one, bag number five, will be a thirsty brush bag. So if you are looking to try something new, maybe a thirsty brush bag will be something you might want to try. There are over £120 worth of stamps and dies for £25. Now, there are no limits on how many you buy. You can buy as many as you want, but all I do say is please do not buy them to then sell them on because you're taking away from a, a lovely stamp club member that would maybe be able to buy one if you buy lots to sell them on. I don't mind you buying lots and that's fine. I appreciate you've got lots of friends but please don't buy them to sell them on that's all we ask so that goes live at midnight tonight um, there are limited numbers so be quick it goes for it the sale is on for 48 hours and that's it 48 hours only um, so if you are looking to save a little bit of money or you are looking to shop for friends family yourself then it starts at midnight tonight Please tell all your crafty friends also, because maybe there might be nobody who's heard of Stamps By Me before uh, and might want to try us uh, like a little taster. So that's the end of the spiel. Let's get on to our first demonstration. So I'm going to be using this lovely stamp. Now this is one of our earlier, earlier stamps and probably a lot of you have got it, which is fab. There is still a few of these available, but if you haven't got this one, please don't worry about it and please don't switch off because... Um, you will have something in your stash that works with these with this technique so let's crack on so first of all we're gonna this is the one I was referring to where quick and easy cards so you can do them in various colors and batch make so I have a black top folding note card here and I have a piece of black card which is just smaller just slightly smaller than our um, black top folding note card. Now you all know traditionally I love my cards to be that way but today I'm going to do it um, landscape. So I also have a piece of torn paper and the reason I wanted to do this um, demo today was because I have got some lovely ink pads that I've not had out for a while so I always like to get my old ink pads out and have a play and just see where it takes me you know. So I have a um, archival Brilliance Galaxy Gold here from my stash and I also have Memento Lux Wedding Dress. Now there's a white and a gold and I'm going to show you a fabulous technique using these two. If you haven't got these branded ones you might have a white ink pad already, you might have a gold. If you haven't got these colours the technique works across the board so you might be able to use it with other ink pads in your stash. Just give it a go, it's only a bit of card. So what I'm going to do is let's just set this aside. So what I'm going to do is I'm just, the, what I did, let's just show you how I did this first because it, it might look explanatory to some but maybe not to others. I, I appreciate we've got new subscribers every single day. So I just got a piece of paper and all I did was I tore like a hill and then with this bit here I just used this little bit here so you could change it, you could make one end higher than the other. Um, you can just chop it up and change it. You don't have to use the same size for both. So that was just a little piece of copier paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create like some snowy hills. But I'm not going to use any tools. I'm just going to use the ink pad direct. Now, the inspiration for this came from um, an Instagram post that I saw of a lady and she was swiping like a navy blue ink pad. 
uh, forgive me, I can't remember the lady's name, but I thought it looked fabulous in white, um, you know, to create like snowy hills and things. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So all I'm going to do is just turn this around a little bit. And I'm just going to hold this white piece of um, copy of paper that I've just torn. And I'm just going to swipe down the um, copy of paper. The lady that did this didn't use copy of paper, but I just found this an easier way. Now, you can go rogue and go freehand if you want to, but I just found this an easier way with the paper. So I'm not trying to cover the whole of the paper. I'm just trying to create like a lovely snow drifty hill. Can we see that there? And then with the same paper, I'm just going to swap it up a little bit and maybe pop a smaller one down here with the same ink pad. So I'll just budge it over a little bit so I can hold the paper and then I'm just going to swipe down again. But again, I'm not trying to cover the whole black card. I'm just trying to get a li little bit more white at the top and less at the bottom. So you get like this, looks like glaciers, doesn't it? Like hills and things. So let's pop another one in. Maybe, should we go higher? Maybe not too high, like this. Now you could tape it down if it's moving around. And then we'll just do another one, oop, do another one here. We we'll see how it's coming together there. So let's maybe just do one, one more in there. Let's just maybe cap it off in the centre. What I'm going to do is I'm going to swap out the white for the gold. See if we can get a gold hill in here. And again, I'm going to swipe down. Try not to hit my white so much so I get a different tone. But don't worry if you do hit the white because it still looks quite effective anyway. See that there? How cool does that look? And let's just continue that one across there because it, it looks like it's just um, fallen. Just going to drag that gold onto this little bit of white here. Oops. See that there? Now I've done that. Let's just. Um, I'm just going to pop this one back on here and I'm just going to add some more white to this lower one so it stands out more. Get lots of white on there. So with this ink pad, it's a fabulous ink pad, but you do have to press on a little bit to get the colour to actually come through. So don't be scared to press on. I suppose it's not going to hurt anything if you... There we go. Can we see there? So can we see there? It does actually, and it's quite sparkly is the gold as well so you could do it all in gold if you wanted to I don't think there is a right or wrong way so there is our like base of our card Oops. thinking where is it there it is so I'll just set these aside so I'm just going to blast that off with my gun So if you had some lovely snowflakes, lampposts, trees, you could incorporate those in there too. So I think that's pretty good to go. So I'm just going to place this into my Eureka. Now, looks like the magnet's gone. So I'm just going to grab one from here. So because I'm going to use the big sentiment across the top, I'm going to anti-static the black card at the top. You can do it all over, it will brush off, so don't worry about it. Now, I think it would look fabulous in white, but that's very predictable, should we say. So I'm going to go gold. Yeah, I'm going to go gold, just to be different. So I have a sticky ink pad and I have my lovely stamp. That looks like a Northern Lights now. I don't want to move that now, looks quite cool. So I'm just going to grab the large stamp, walking in a winter wonderland. I'm 
I'm just going to place this up here. In the centre like so. I'm just going to pick up that stamp and I'm just going to use the sticky ink pad. I've just got a mini one here and I'm just going to ink the whole sentiment. Make sure we get it covered nicely and then I'm going to give it a good old stamp down. I'm going to do it one more time, just in case I've missed any area. So the importance of drying your ink off, the white ink that we swiped, is important. Um, as you can see from that there, it's stuck to the white ink and I'm going to do my best to remove some of it with a, paint, a dry paintbrush. But the, the reason why I did it with my gun is to try and remove any of the um, dampness in the white, white paint. Sorry, not white paint. Just tilting it under, see if I can get as much off as I can. But it's imperative that the ink is dry, otherwise you get this. And you have to get your brush and remove it yourself, which is quite time consuming and a little bit annoying. So I think we'll just go with that one. So let's just set this aside. Get your gun really hot before we heat and boss. And then as soon as you pop your gun on, the powder should change because your gun is good and hot. See that there? How lovely is that? Something a little bit different. So I'm just going to give that a waft. Let's get rid of this stamp for now. Make sure it's dry. And then with a little bit of um, tissue, I'm just going to get rid of the dust from the anti-static bag and this will bring it to life. So we have this beautiful, um, a very seem very simple card but very effective I would say so I am just going to add some detail to these hills by that I mean some sparkle so where the lines are on the hills I'm just adding some clear quickie glue pen I'm not doing it all over because I don't want to take away um, the beauty of how simple it is Maybe pop some scribbles down like they are snow drifts. And then I'm going to use a lovely glitter, which is the dry fine glitter Stardust from Stickles. like icicles now. 
Can we see that there? Just sparkling over. Really pretty. So it's subtle, which is what I like. I'm not a fan, of, albeit I love glitter on acetate. Absolutely love glitter on acetate. So there's a little bit of a sneaky peek at what's coming soon. Glitter, acetate. I'll let you figure it out, ladies and gents. <laughs> like so. Now, I could, I would I, could I put a white wonky border around there? But I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop some pads behind. Without getting them stuck to myself. And then I'm going to stick it straight onto the top folding notepad. But you, um, obviously you could mat onto some sparkly gossip glitter card. Sp mount it onto whatever you want. Like so. And we'll take our top folding note card. We will 3D it on top of there. Make sure it's stuck in all the areas. So you have a lovely different Christmas card. Something a little bit different. If you've got some little snowflakes, you could dot some little snowflakes around. So that is demonstration one, just the swiping of a white or a gold ink pad. So I do encourage you to give it a go. Um, before I move on to my second demonstration, I'm going to give you a little bit more inspiration whilst I clear my desks and start for the next one. Welcome back everybody. I want to quickly just show you another demonstration using some of our older products. So I hope you enjoyed the last demonstration. What I always do is I always pop the um, pictures of our makes onto Facebook after the show. As soon as I pick my son up, I quickly get them on for you. So please let me know your thoughts on the demonstrations. You know, I do love feedback, whether it be good or bad. I do like um, to listen to you all and I do like the fact that 
some of you have done it before and some of you have been doing it for a long time and uh, do it successfully. These are not my ideas, this is just inspiration from other lovely crafters I've seen. We all sort of like thrive off everybody else if that makes any sense at all you know you're probably watching me thinking that's amazing i got it from somebody else they got it from somebody else so it's just a, it's just a case of just sharing ideas maybe chopping them up a little bit putting your take on it you might start something as somebody else's idea but it complete completely comes out the other end of something different so don't be scared to know you know give these things a go and that's the great thing about this crafting world so here i have two hearts now the hearts are from this collection so if you've got any of these heart dies of ours these are the hearts i'm just using the outline dies i'm not using the decorative element in the middle so for the small heart i'm going to pin it down onto this lovely craft color here and for the large heart i'm going to pop it down onto this red mirror card um, I'm just going to hold them in place because, you know, I'm not the most confident die cutter in the world. So, and knowing my look, they will move. So I'm just going to run these through the die cutting machine. And I'm not doing a full card on this one, but I'm going to show you the idea. And then I'll show you a finished one that um, one of the design team has made. So you can see what it looks like finished. But I'm just going to give you the idea. And this would make a fabulous Christmas card, albeit it's on a white, although it's on a heart, it would make a fabulous Christmas card. So I just removed the lovely heart in red. So there's our red one, just set that aside. And then we have this lovely craft one here. Let's hope it doesn't tear. There we go. I'll set that one aside too. So just move these ones out of the way. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get our lovely Eureka and I have one of our old stamp sets, but if you um, have one of the recent ones or one of uh, anybody else's in your stash, it probably will work with this technique. So I'm just going to use this one here. So this is um, Never Change Ever stamp set. I'm just going to use a little one on this one. And this is why I love putting the image in the stamp sets in a smaller way, because they're perfect for your um, envelopes and they are perfect for smaller projects like this one here where I just want a little bit of detail on it but not a lot so I'm just going to position where I want this one so I might go off the corner up here I'm going to pop quite a bit of detail on there so I'll just set that over there and because I'm heat embossing I am going to use an anti-static bag again And I'm just using my sticky ink pad again. Now, because I am under the hot lights, I am going to do um, put the powder on at each point. Normally, I would stamp it all out and then add the powder at the end, but I can't take the risk of it drying out before um, I actually get to it. I'll go gold again because that's what I have in my hand. Is this gold? Metallic platinum, this one. I thought I'd picked up gold. But it's okay, we'll run with it. So I've got it on that corner there. I'm just going to anti-static this corner. And I'm going to swap my stamp around this, this time so I haven't got the same workings as I did just off that edge like so I'm just going to give it another one just to make sure
and then we'll just do one on the bottom corner too so it's sort of like giving us a decorative heart with stamps rather than your traditional decorative heart in the dies so let's just pop that up there we'll take the same stamp and I think we'll pop it so it's encroaching over the bottom corner like so because I think that looks quite pretty I'm going to anti-static it just in case One more time, just to be safe. And then we have our lovely decorative heart going on. So I'm just going to get rid of that little cluster of powder there. I'll heat set this one. I am going to get my gun hot again. And then as soon as it's on, I will hopefully the powder will change instantly. There we go. hoping you'll be able to see that can we see that there I'm not sure yeah okay so let's go ahead and stamp our sentiment in the center so I'm gonna go with never change ever it's one of my favorite sentiments and this is gonna get stamped black in the center here and I am gonna offset it so I don't hit any of my image down here We'll do this one in black. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use our fabulous oil pencils. Now I know a lot of you have got these and well done. I hope you are enjoying them as much as I do. I'm just going to do a little bit of colouring on one of these um, corners just to show you how impactive this colour, these colours really, really are. So let's go for let's go for a pink, a purpley pink here. So um, I'll just get the camera to zoom in a little bit just to show you how um, fabulous these are on craft and how bright they are. I'm not going to colour it all, but I am going to show you that. They are so, thank you. So you pop a colour down and these blend superbly as well. So pop the colour down. They are so creamy. You get a lovely finish. I'm not even pressing on here neither guys. So just get in. Can we see that there? Look at the coverage on there. You can't really... I have always found that you can't really get that sort of coverage with a general everyday pencil. So let's swap the colour out and show you maybe. Let's have a, have a go with green. Now I'm just, I'm just going in random here. I'm not um, being precious about where I'm colouring. But you can see how, look how vibrant that is. So you can eat. And if you did this on black, let's have a look at just me showing you on some black. Well, let's just pick up some random colours here actually, let's just see. So you can see, you see that there? This is on black card, let's try the green. So if I'd have heat embossed onto that lovely heart in on black, let's have a look, let's see how we do with the blue. Onto heat embossed this heart, onto black, you could still have coloured with your pencils. 
let's try the gold. So maybe now, when you're thinking about what you're going to stamp onto and what you're going to colour, you don't have to think about it really now because these pencils work on everything. They even work on slate, as you know. So let's just show you that. Um, see that there? How bright they are? They are amazing. And they're not waxy base. They're not like uh, uncool. They're not give you an, an unkind finish. It's quite smooth. Um, and texturized. So I would stick this onto here. Let's just put, pop it in, just zoom out for you. Onto this lovely heart here. And then maybe with a fine liner pen, I would add some detail. But this is the sort of look you're trying to achieve. Can we see that there? So this is the, this is an embossing folder. But if you have our Starburst die, you can get the same result. Stamped over the corners, coloured with your pencils, never change ever. Pop some sl splats on and a pretty ribbon if you want to. I mean, how beautiful is that? So two completely different cards today. Um, I'm sorry I didn't complete the second one. Uh, time just ran away with me really, to be honest with you. So two, um, just move all of this junk to the side. It's just getting overwhelming. Sorry, there we go. I'm getting in trouble now because I'm just sliding everything all over. But there you go, two completely different cards. This one's amazing if you're going to be batch making for Christmas. And this one you could do Christmasified if you wanted to, or just an everyday card. I hope you've enjoyed today's show. Please don't forget about our sale tomorrow. Uh, it is important. You pay that £10 to be a club member and it entitles you to um, receive those discounts. So please make the most of it while it's there. We only do two a year um, and that will be that until next year. So I have a little bit ins more inspiration for you. So whatever you're doing, have a great evening. Don't switch off yet though because there's still a little bit more to come. Take care everyone. Bye.